We know closures allow inner functions to access variables from their outer functions, even after the outer function has finished executing. While closures provide this functionality, they also come with a responsibility to manage memory properly. Consider this example. Here, countdown from 10 is a closure that holds a reference to the count variable. Each time the closure is called, it decrements the count variable. As long as countdown from 10 is active, for example, as a callback or within an event listener, the count variable will not be garbage collected, even if there are no other references to the create countdown function. Because countdown from 10 is a closure that maintains a reference to the count variable. This reference keeps count in memory even though create countdown has finished executing. As long as countdown from 10 exists and holds a reference to the inner function, count will not be garbage collected. Because of course, countdown from 10 needs the count variable to decrement its value. So in such a case, because JavaScript won't garbage collect or remove the count variable from the memory, we have to do it on our own. We can do that by breaking the reference to countdown from 10 by setting it to null once we are done with using it. And this would indeed allow JavaScript to garbage collect the count variable as well since there are no other references to it. However, do note that once you set countdown from 10 to null, you lose the ability to call the countdown function. So you need to carefully manage the lifecycle of closures to avoid memory leaks while ensuring you don't unintentionally break functionality in your application.